Yeah, Kwan usually loses, but they would go to losers finals to fight Tetra and go to grand finals to fight Shogi. So here we go. So a, a big struggle that, that Iris has always had is his general playstyle does not fit fighting Nico because it's, it's risky because this is what happens when you make one mistake, you just die instantly. And you have to play very careful against Nico and pick your spots correctly. It can sometimes feel impossible, but everyone bleeds. So, like, this is what I mean. He's probably won neutral three or four times, and he's up three stocks right now, and that's just the way Nico is. Why he always wins tournament. It's also why he's probably number one this season. He's just... His punish game is, is near perfect, and he's able to to win neutral in an effective way. Very good at the mix-up game. He's a good player, even if you don't like his character. And um, these kind of things, it's rare for you to ever see Iris lose or get beaten like this. Um, and it's not like he's playing bad today either. He took like 14 stocks in the crew battle. Um, this is just you know, what ends up happening. And a rage drive should probably come out. Kwan is not playing better with these projectiles and stuff like that, but I think it's a bit too late. Three stocks to one with rage drive. Yeah, there it is. Winning game one against Nico is always extremely important due to the counter pick warfare. Nico always liking um, Town and City and FD, of course. Great stages for Kazuya. If you can win game one, it would mean that if you go to game five, you would have the counter pick advantage. It's still possible, and Quan choosing to go town, although this is typically considered uh, Kazuya's second best stage, I think Quan is accepting that the punish game will be whatever on any stage besides Battlefield, um, because Nico's really good at platform punish game. So he's just going to take the open space and probably throw more projectiles because that third stock of the first game was showcasing that general style. Um, but, you know, like I said, Nico, he's, he's going to anti-air and poke with Nair a lot um, at a short hop and full hop distance like that. And that will you typically lead to electric. He's very good at that. So th th this is just what's going to happen. And, and Quan, he has to... I just has to pick his spots perfectly just to properly win. Up smash not quite killing. Great up B by Nico, knowing that Quan probably wasn't ready for that little, you know, hit in the air. Of course, Iris is really good at um, bomb movement around shield and playing. Very, he, he's grinded that a lot, so plays Link in a good way. Yeah, up B, not quite. Probably gonna die. Nico typically doesn't drop these, but I, as I say that, he does, which is, you know, fine. 74. Um, Iris, he really needs to figure something else out if he wants to win the set and go further in this tournament. Um, especially because this is a very important tournament for Nico right now in terms of ranking. Um, and losing to Tetra, despite Tetra being a very good player, uh, Nico hasn't really gotten upset much this, this season, so he is going to be trying very hard. And trying he is! Up three snacks to Iris again, despite the adaptations he's made. Didn't get the strong hit of up B. There, there's so many things that could go wrong when fighting Nico, it's, it's very difficult. Great DI from, uh, from Iris. The, the, the patient play and everything. Probably dead? No, no. Grab there. He knows the percentage ranges more than I. Also, shout out to Nico's tag. We, we all love it. Of course, one move you can always rely on when playing Link is Nair. When in doubt, Nair it out. You know what I mean? But yeah, you, you know exactly what, what Nico wants and is disgusting. Good tech chasing there. Nice bomb movement overall. I was definitely doing a lot better compared to game one, but it's still very difficult. I'd imagine this matchup isn't the greatest for Link, but he can definitely do some things. It's just very hard against a player like Nigu who just... Yeah, there it is. I'd imagine he... 
wouldn't go to town again, but then again, I'm, I'm not sure. Just a very systematic and, and proper play from uh, from Nico. Yeah, small battlefield, I believe, is a better choice in town just due to how strong Nico's punish game is. Still good open space, great for projectile and good movement overall. Um, you know, there... IRC's taken Nico to game five uh, quite a bit this, this season, but I don't think he's gotten a win, which is um, unfortunate because he's gotten wins on uh, Shogi and other players. And in the past, when Nico wasn't as good, Kwan was able to beat him a lot, but Nico's first good win was against Iris. Um, so their, their, their rivalry is very lopsided in Nico's favor. So it's just very interesting to see how Iris does this. Yeah, see, it's one mistake. And Nico dropped the combo, but it, it is a very hard matchup and easy to get uh, tilted, you know? But Iris, he's keeping the, his composure this game. <laughs> All right. Much more even. Great grab. Very good. Good edge guarding, but set the wrong way, unfortunately. And yeah, you gotta just when you see Nico do that, you have to jump right out of there, run for your life. There's no, you can't challenge it. You can't preemptively beat it. You just have to run away. And um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but I was keeping it even, two stocks apiece. Here we go. Yeah, Nico, of course, when, when people start to retreat to platforms, he's going to start challenging them with nares and fares and overall aerials. Um, one of Nico's strongest aspects of his play, in my opinion. All right, but moving around with the bomb. Putting some nares. This, this is the proper play. He's, uh, he's doing good. If he does this the entire set, he has a good chance of beating Nico. But, of course, you got to avoid getting Kazuya Mishi mud. Nico dropping a couple punishes, but it doesn't matter because he's really, really stinking good at this video game, as you can see there. Stone Cold Face, he doesn't care. He's probably going to say something stupid when he wins, like Sklabi Joe, but I'm really not sure. Um, Rage Drive, you got to respect it. You're probably going to take a good 40 or 50. Yeah. Um, oh, are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. There it is. GG.